Welcome to my lecture online, continuing to play with numbers. Let's say that we have a number such that when you add it to its reciprocal, the sum is equal to 10 over 3. What is the number? So we're going to define the number as x. Let x equal the unknown number. Then the reciprocal, of course, will be 1 over x. So 1 over x equal the reciprocal of that number. Now we're going to add them together and they should add, add up to 10 over 3. So that means that x plus 1 over x equals 10 divided by 3. And so we're going to solve that for x. And to do that, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator, which is x. So in this case, we end up with x squared plus 1 over x times x is 1 equals 10 over 3x. All right. Well, actually, I didn't multiply times the lowest common denominator, did I? Actually, I should have multiplied it times 3x to get rid of the 3 as well. So I'm going to do that, 3x and 3x. So let's try that again, because I don't want to end up with a fraction there. So we end up with uh, 3x squared plus 3 is equal to, uh, the 3 cancels out, that would be 10x. And then moving the 10x across, we get 3x squared minus 10x plus 3 is equal to 0. And let's see if we can factor that one. So let's have two binomials. We need a 3x and we need an x. Negative here, positive there, and it means that they're both negative. And to get a 3, I need a 3 and a 1. So let's put the 3 there and a the 1 there. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. That works. So therefore, the solutions are that x minus 3 is equal to 0, which means that x equals positive 3, or 3x minus 1 equals 0, which means 3x equals 1, or x equals 1 third. So these are the two possible solutions. There are two solutions. x can be 3, or x can be a third. Let's see if that works out. So first of all, if x equals 3, then the reciprocal would be one-third, and of course, three plus a third, that would be equal to three-thirds plus one-third, oh, not three-thirds, but nine-thirds. Nine-thirds plus one-third, which is ten-thirds, and that checks. How about one-third? So one-third plus three, of course, is the same thing. One-third plus nine-thirds equals ten-thirds. So it looks like either solution is correct meaning that x can be 3 or x can be 1 third, and both will give you the solution, and that is how it's done.